Hi, I'm Alicia, and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot common issues when you change or reset your password. So you've recently changed your password or you're trying to reset your password, but it seems that nothing's working right. Well, sometimes changing or resetting your password doesn't go as smoothly as you'd hoped. In this video, we'll go over some common problems or errors and what to do if they occur. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. All right, let's get started. Chances are you've typed in the new password wrong or forgotten it. Try typing it in again. Alternatively, your browser might have saved an old password in cookie and be populating the password field with that. Delete whatever's there and type in the new password. If all else fails, use the lost your password link in the login screen to reset your password. If you use the forgot login link to reset your password, you'll need to type in your email address or username. Check that you typed these correctly. If you can't remember your email address or username, you'll need to use one of the methods mentioned in our How to Quickly Change or Reset WordPress Password video linked below in the video description. Try checking your spam folder. The email is automated and may have been sent there. If you're using Gmail, try the Updates tab. You might be using the wrong email account. Could you have used a different email address for your WordPress account than you normally use? If all else fails, you'll have to use another method to reset your password. You can watch that video linked in the video description below. Using FTP involves making an edit to the theme functions file. If you added this in the wrong place or you typed it in wrong, it could interfere with your theme. Go back to the functions file and check you followed the instructions correctly. If it still doesn't work, reinstate the backup you took of the file before editing it and try another method for resetting your password. If you didn't make a backup, you can find your theme in the WordPress theme directory or via the theme vendor you bought it from and re-upload it to your site with the correct file. Using phpMyAdmin to reset your password involves directly editing the database. If after doing this, your site breaks or you can't access the admin screen still, it may be that you did something wrong. Go back to the instructions for changing the password via PHP My Admin and check that what you did reflects the instructions. If you did, but you still can't access your site, try resetting the password another way. If your site still isn't working correctly, you might have accidentally edited another field. You'll need to restore your site from a backup you took before editing the database and then try resetting the password using another method. If you didn't take a backup, you'll need to talk to your hosting provider and ask if they can help. When the site administrator changes another user's password, WordPress will send an email to the address used for that account. If the user hasn't received an email, ask them to check their spam folder and check that the email account they're using is the same one that's registered for that WordPress account. You can find this in the user profile screen. If they still can't access the email, run through the password generation again and copy the password before clicking the update user button. You can then provide the user with the password. They should change it themselves the first time they log in so they know it's private. When you change or reset your WordPress passwords, it's important to use a secure password. Secure passwords will be 10 characters or more, include a mix of upper and lowercase letters, include numbers, and include special characters, such as punctuation. When you change your password in the WordPress admin screens, you'll be told how secure it is. If it isn't strong, as in this example, try adding more characters to it and different types of characters. This example is more secure and would still be easy to remember. Sometimes using a phrase works better than trying to add lots of extra characters to a word. Try using the opening line from your favorite book or a line from a movie. Alternatively, get WordPress to generate the password for you. You can use a password manager like LastPass to store all your passwords so you don't need to remember them. 
If you want to test how strong your password really is, try putting it into the password checker at how secure is my password, and you'll find out how long it would take a bot to crack it. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%. And you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.